Look, look, look here, folks. Real talk session today, man. We're going to talk about fake friends, yeah. Fake friends, y'all. Man, I done deal with these people all my life. Um, it's nothing new under the sun with me. Um, I try to help individuals, man. You know, give them guidance. Give them information. You know what I'm saying? Give them knowledge. And it goes to show, man, you can't really give people no type of knowledge or nothing because they always say that a true friend is supposed to keep whatever sacred amongst each other. If I told you anything or shared ideals or shared information with you, it shouldn't be exposed to nobody else, your friends or nobody in your family. And this goes to show, man, that's why I just don't want to be friends with a lot of people, man. As y'all know, man, I've been doing YouTube for a minute, and I have ran across a lot of people in my inboxes and, and Instagram. So this cat hit me up, man, not knowing this man from a bucket of paint. Just hit me out the blue, stating that uh he wanted some information about spiritual guidance and stuff like that. So I texted him back and shared some information with him, you know, gave him the knowledge of what I knew about the stuff, things and whatnot. So, it rocked on. A month went by, you know what I'm saying? I'm still chopping it up with this cat. You know, thinking he's a cool little brother, man. You know what I'm saying? I can give him knowledge and just talk to him as an individual. Because I'm not one of these YouTubers to just sit there and ignore people, man. When people want to hit me up and talk to me, man. I'm not no stuck-up person. I hit him up. So, I hit this cat up, you know. Talked to him for a little bit. You know, months went by, you know what I'm saying? Um... I gave him a number and shit so we can really talk about some personal stuff, you know, some real stuff. So as it went on, man, I shared some information with this cat, which I shouldn't have. And uh, he got out to some of his folks and his people or whatnot and his friends or whatever. So I immediately knew that this dude was weird and kind of handicapped slow, I believe. But uh, as you know, as it went on, you know, you can read people. Uh, you can tell what type of individual they is by just being around them, talking to them on the phone. And, you know, it don't really take me long to figure out because I'm pretty much good at reading people anyways. And uh, this guy was on some weird individual stuff, man. You know, just saying weird things that uh I didn't agree of, didn't agree on. And I just let the motherfucker talk, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he was talking, you know, about stuff I wasn't trying to hear. And, uh... I immediately knew, you know what I'm saying, that I, I got to I gotta block this guy, man. So, the most powerful thing I ever did was hit that block button on Instagram. And it felt so good when I hit that block button, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, wow. It's what it feels like to get rid of an individual. Like, if you ever want to get rid of somebody off social media, man, you got a block button, just hit it. You know what I'm saying? Don't waste no time. Just get rid of it. That's the most powerful thing you can do. And I blocked this cat number, man. You know, I had to get rid of him. So, I'd say like a month went by, man. My phone rang. It's a New Orleans number. So, I asked him. This cat got on the phone, bro. I mean, raising a tantrum, man. Just just going ape shit. Hollering about, man, why you blocked me, man? Why you blocked me, man? I thought we were cool, man. I said, man, get the hell off my phone with all that, bro. Like, what is you calling me for from a different number? I block you. I said, I could do anything I want. I said, I don't owe nobody an explanation of why I block you. I don't owe you nothing. If I block you, it's for a reason. So, he just started going on, man. Dude threatening me and everything. And I kid you not. I told this individual this. If you ever come up, come up my way and try to harm me, I will defend myself, and I won't hesitate. If I was to even see your face around my neighborhood, I'm not going to hesitate, bro. Because I'm not going to have people on social media uh, threatening me after I done gave them information and helped them in life. You know, this guy was a a house house potato, man. He was a house, a couch potato. All this guy do was sit in his room, eat gummy bears and worms all day, and fort up the sheets, man. Just stanking his room up. That's what I saw. I ain't never seen the dude do nothing positive. All he did was talk about 
stuff that I didn't want to hear. I'm trying to talk about spiritual stuff, you know, conspiracy stuff. He want to talk about some some bull crap. I ain't trying to hear it. And that's why I knew this individual wasn't all the way there inside of his brain. You know what I'm saying? Like something really wrong with him. And I give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, I don't really talk about people. But, you know, these individuals called my phone, pissed me off. You know what I'm saying? Got his little homeboy in the back. And that's another thing. You know, whatever problem I got with somebody, I'm not finna go tell my friends about it or put them inside of my business. Because you can get somebody inside of some stuff that they don't even need to be into. You know what I'm saying? And this individual, bro, you know, he, he just a misguided dude. Um... Pretty much, man, dude got the devil in him. Uh, cast potato, man. You know, social anxiety. You know, won't, he, he won't even go outside or nothing. Won't even go enjoy the sunlight. Just stuck in the house, stanking his sheets up. Probably beating his chicken box, giving his, fan, giving his hands cardiac arrest. Stuff like that, man. You know, I already read the individual, you know. Like I said, man, my eyes can read anything of people of what they going through and the stuff they done did and this individual you know he tried to be a bad person you know toting guns or his homeboy guns posting they posting their money you know posting their uh, weapons and whatnot on instagram and all this and i knew right off the bat man that, you know saying that's not a person i want to be around i don't want to hang around somebody like this i don't want to talk to people on the phone like this you know what i'm saying um yeah, this dude got mad because I told him, well, look, I don't owe you no explanation on why you got blocked. So he on the phone, man. You know, he, he raging like a bull. You know, he like a like a, a, a wild animal, like a wild horse in the woods. Just, ha -da 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 I pull up. I slide. Ha -da 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 -da. Come on, then. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm not running for nothing, you know. And it's the reason why I can't be friends with these people around this world, bro. Like, you can't trust people. Like any individual, man, you can be in a room with somebody and when you leave that room or that table, the same person you call a friend gonna be talking about you as soon as you leave the room. Or as soon as you get out of somebody's car. They gonna say something about you. Your friend's gonna say something about you. So called friend. That's why I said there is no friend in this world, man. People talk about you. Majority of everybody I know, they have friends. I know they friends talk about them, bro. That's facts. And it's the reason why, man. Like, you can't be nice to everybody, man. I was just being nice to a, a unknown individual I just met on Instagram. This dude hit me up with knowledge, you know, trying to, you know, want knowledge from me. I don't know this man from a, a, a can of paint, man. He just hit me up out of nowhere, and I just chopped it up and gave him what I knew as a brother. Trying to be nice to people And you can't And that's why I got the most powerful thing in the world That block button If you don't know how to get rid of a sun gun offline And if you got a block button Just hit it And if it don't got a block button I'll delete myself I'll just deactivate my own account Just get rid of everybody That's how much I feel about social media it ain't nothing but the demon anyway. It's gave people the ability to run their mouth and post their little Nino trades online and do all this hoorah bull crap. This is what social media has come to, bro. And that's why um, I will no longer be talking to to individuals uh, on my Instagram unless I know you, unless I've been conversating with you. But a, a stranger, I'm not doing it, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be nice, bro. And, you know, these people are jealous. They are hateful. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is the reason, man, why the urban community can't get it alone or get ahead in life. Because of this stuff like this, bro. But look, though, man, what y'all think about this video, man? The fake friends, man. And I got the most powerful thing in the world. A block button. And a block button on my phone. And if that don't work... I'll just delete the whole thing. But let me know in the comment box, man. It's the Messy Robot. And I'm out.